You might already know that the first fossils ever found of Spinosaurus were destroyed during World War II. Well, for day 19 of Dino November, somebody asked for Tameri Raptor, which has a similar story, but as of just this year, it has an ending that is pretty unique. In the early 20th century, the paleontologist Ernst Stromer discovered and described the remains of a large predatory dinosaur from Egypt, and then in the bombing of Munich in 1944, all of its fossils were destroyed. Importantly, Stromer had named this dinosaur Carcharodontosaurus. So, the original fossils that were designating that name, the holotype specimen of Carcharodontosaurus, was lost. Then, decades later, the remains of another similar large dinosaur were found in Morocco, when they were thought to be the same as the one that Stromer described, and so they were identified as Carcharodontosaurus. And because the holotype doesn't exist anymore, these new Moroccan fossils became what we call the neotype, which basically is the new specimens that now officially designate the creature called Carcharodontosaurus. And then in January of this year, 2025, a group of scientists examined some of Stromer's original drawings and descriptions of his fossils, a cast of a brain case that was made and did survive, as well as some recently recovered photographs of the original specimens, and they found that this animal was probably not the same as the Moroccan specimen that we now call Carcharodontosaurus. But those specimens are the neotype for that genus name and so cannot be changed. And so instead, this team of scientists renamed Stromer's dinosaur Tameri Raptor. So now we have this really unusual situation in which a specimen that was given a new name is now called something different, but that first original name is still in use for other fossils that were found later. That's pretty weird. Also, because these scientists determined that Carcharodontosaurus in the Chem Chem group in Morocco is not the same as Tameri Raptor in the Baharia Formation in Egypt, even though it was previously assumed that it was the same animal in both, uh, which are two different geologic formations of similar place and age, but perhaps not quite the same, they argue that this gives us good reason to not so readily assume that the collection of animals, the faunal assemblage in both formations, is more or less the same. Maybe they're more distinct than we previously thought, and they recommend taking a closer look at the specimens of other animals, like for example Spinosaurus, in both places to see if we're really sure that the fossils we have in both formations are really of the same animal. And as we're approaching the final third of Dinovember, let me know what dinosaurs you want to see a video about.